uh, the foot of the elephant um, I'm going to point up some of the, um, uh, the uh, features on the elephant foot so that you can uh, easily see it how it, uh, the foot elephant looks like and then uh, on this side uh, the way I'm going to uh, I'm touching this side this is an elbow of the elephant and then way down here this is the, um, this is the, uh, the wrist and then I'm going to go down here we are going to point up the toes of the elephant all right so here we're looking at elephant uh, foot structure all right as you can see that the front foot is more circular it's more rounded as we compare to the back foot which is more um overall okay so actually the hind foot has got four toenails whereas the front foot has got five toenails all right so you can start from here then you got one here and then there's number two um and also number three right here steady boy it's a good boy come on come on okay so your number three nail is standing right in the middle here that's number three number four and there's the smaller one right here it's, that's your number five all right so there's five in front and four at the back so what's happening at the moment elephant known as walking on front foot okay but also right inside they're walking on tip toes all right they're staying on tip toes so behind the toes and the sole of the foot they have a massive cartilage of a muscle known as the pad so that pad is actually carrying the weight of an elephant protecting the bone from shattering okay so that's why when they're walking they always keep three feet on the ground they lift one foot at any given time so that all three three feet can actually manage to carry the weight of an elephant whenever they maneuver one foot okay so it's very very interesting i'm going to show you that, that's cool. underneath the underneath part of a foot structure is it's very interesting that elephant footprint is very much like to our fingerprints okay each foot has got its own print okay so for us some of us here we've been with these guys for a very long time we can simply identify these guys from their footprints then we know who is who walked here who is this and stuff that is if if you're willing to learn a lot from them you can you can actually simply identify them as well all right so in africa we have two animals that have um okay in africa we have two animals that have same foot posture we're talking about an elephant and then your mountain hierarchy or the dazi uh, and then also uh, if you look the front foot itself is more round compared to the back foot where we're gonna go also to show you the difference from the uh, the front foot and the back foot so it's more round compared to the uh, to the, to the back foot uh, the reason this foot to be more round in front they support they got a lot of weight uh, in the front the skull tucks in the trunk also is the more heavy from the, the front it size that's why the front foot is too is more round than the back foot and also uh, when elephant is stepping in the ground the foot motor it expands and when they lift up it contracts so they put it like a uh, like a uh, shock observers for the vehicles mostly when you look elephant when he's standing like this it looks like it's standing flat footed but it's not so it's standing like in tip toes where there's some toes that uh, come straight like here and then on here and then on here right direct where the toes is so that's the reason elephant uh, why they cannot make noise if they are walking so they are like walking tip toes and then um, they provided this pad system so that you can support uh, from the weight to avoid from shattering of the of the of the of the of the bones so now we're gonna walk um back from uh, the elephant so that i can show you the back foot um compared to the uh, front foot so i'm gonna walk around um, from this side 
So um, this is the uh, the back foot. This is the back foot of the elephant. So if you look, front foot is it's more longer, and then the back foot is more shorter. Which is uh, this is the knee, and then this is the ankle, and then also uh, I'm gonna point up the toes from the uh, from the back foot. So I'm gonna start from here. This is the first toe. It's very small. This is the first toe here. I think you can you can see it. Yes, here. Yeah. And then the second toe. This is the second toe. And then this is the third toe here, right in there in the front. And also, I'm gonna try to go around this side and show you the fourth toe, which is here. This is the fourth toe. So, in the front, they do have uh, uh, four, the five toes in the front, and then four toes at the back. So the back, the back foot is more overall compared to the front foot. You can see the foot of, uh, of, of, of the back is more like overall than more round because there's no a uh, lot of support of the weight from, from the back. So there's the, there's the, uh, the ankle here, similar like the human being, you can see there's the ankle. And also to go up, there is the, uh, is the knee. So you look, this is uh, this is the bottom of the foot of the elephant. If you look, there's all these cracks. So these cracks mostly they are very very important also uh, on elephant. It's just like your your shoes. Uh, if you are walking or maybe it's a slippery where we are walking there from the mud. So all this it give him the balance uh, from the, for the elephant when he, when he's stepping the ground where if in a in a slippery or he's walking in a in a rock area to get himself the balance. Sometimes yes, you can find uh, elephant. He can step on the rock, and in that rock, he can penetrate on in this rock, in this uh, cracks that you can see around here. Um, for himself, it's easy somewhere to to check it out. He can uh, find either a, a rock that he can trust and try to rub against that that rock until he end up get out that uh, rock he penetrated underneath. Some of the thorns he does to take them out, but some mostly they just stick it inside. He cannot uh, afford to take it. Well, so for this elephant, that uh, mostly we can help them because we can talk to them when you see them, you step on the thorns and ask him and then if you've got uh, uh, pliers or if you can afford to, to put it out with your hand, we can assist you. So yeah, so this is the padding system that we're talking about. To touch it like this, it's very hard, but you can see somewhere the movement of, uh, of like a, a fresh, like a, yeah, like a sponge somehow.